and to see the autism literally leave his body. This kid literally had autism and then a woman prayed it away because it's like a demon or something, I guess. <laughs> Unbelie 2023 and this is a this is a controversial topic within the body of Christ and a lot of people they don't want to talk about this a lot of Americans as far as I can tell want nothing other than to talk about this they can't help talking about trans people in their lives all the fucking time they they can't get enough of it this guy's such a liar he's a grifter he's a liar he's a real fucking poser who puts on this voice and is like oh my god edit in some more emojis hello lovely people my name is Emma Welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new. Today's t-shirt is Look Out, I'm Vibing by Momo. I was in a terrific mood about five minutes ago. Do you want to know why I am now in less of a good mood? Because once again, when it comes to sussing out problematic YouTubers, I was right. Today we're going to be talking about a guy called Caden Pody, which... I'm not gonna lie, sounds like the sort of name I would make up for an RPG. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, p Podal? Um, Sport Podal? Sport Podal is my pen name. I stumbled upon this guy through some cringy YouTube short that was like, here's proof that Moses parted the Red Sea. Something silly like that, the kind of stuff that comes up recommended for me, you know how it is. Once you've performed a miracle, you get recommended them all the time. Now, listen, let's talk for one sec about cringe and cringe content, the culture of cringe. And I don't really go in for cringe. Or another way of looking at it is I embrace cringe. I've talked about this a little bit before. I don't think kids doing fun dances on TikTok is a problem. I don't care if some religious person is just really into their love of Jesus. I am personally extremely silly and I lean into that super hard. One of my favorite artists has a cute little comic that just says, I am cringe, but I am free. And I live that life, I embrace that. A lot of things that people say are cringe. I just think those people sound boring and annoying. <laughs> live your life, be cringe, be free. However, in terms of that cringe feeling, I'm a human being, I experience cringe. I tend to get the cringe vibe when there's something going on under the surface. As in, I, my channel is full of examples. Often if I find something a bit cringe, it then turns out that the person I'm finding cringe is like a grifter. And the reason it's cringe which is a huge part of today, by the way. Caden Pody is a brilliant example of this. A huge part of the cringe is because they're really amping up the emotions, the drama, whatever, for a grift to make money, to make stuff more clickable, okay? That that can make something cringe. So it's kind of a bit of a, can be a bit of a grift, grifter sense. I often get the cringe vibe when somebody turns out to be a conspiracy theorist, Often if I'm watching like religious content and I'm getting that vibe, they'll then turn out to be homophobic, transphobic, something like that. So I saw this video, this short of Caden Pody going, they found evidence of, we're not even going to touch that. Maybe we'll talk about that another day because let's not go there. They found evidence for Moses and I was like, this guy's really cringe. But I've seen this, I, I'm overexposed to this kind of cringe. What is it that is making me feel this feel. I'm kind of acting like I've got some sort of sixth sense. <laughs> I don't think it's, I think it is that people who are trying to make viral clickable content do act in a cringe way because if you cut something into short little clips and it's whoa and I'm sorry Americans you are the majority of my audience. People in the US are my biggest audience. I love you so much. I've seen your reality TV. You guys hype stuff to shit and it looks insane to the rest of the world. So when people from the USA and from the American continent do that, it seems even more crazy to me. So I was like, okay, let's investigate. I clicked onto his channel. I'll just show you. Let's just show you his featured video. Just so you can, just so you get it, okay? You've got this very outlandish, one might even say, cringe <laughs> YouTube page. I'm saying there, I know he's a, he, he identifies as male 
we'll get into that shit in a minute. It's gonna be some trigger warnings on this one. So, like, his channel header is weirdly, like, fire and brimstone for a uh, an evangelist because uh, evangelist in his bio is capitalized evangelist and then is that a plain symbol is that him trying to be like a globe trotting televangelist or something i don't know this generation shall be saved why has that got arrows pointing to it who knows doesn't have to make sense just has to be bold here's something weird so this guy and part of why i want to talk about him is because he's got five million <laughs> subscribers but weirdly his like last his latest bunch of videos you can already see one of the videos i've clicked on which is the major red flag that drew me here they don't have very many views this how to avoid falling into temptation has 5.6 and then they've got between like this one's got 8k views some of them have got like 30 like his his latest videos have fewer views than mine but i guess if he streams and he gets quite a good if he gets quite a good uh audience on his streams that would maybe explain it very concerning to me that this person has five million subscribers 5.4 actually five and a half hey if you've not subscribed to this channel would you would you please think about it just because like i'm not a homophobe i'm not a bigot I'm quite nice, <laughs> I think. I try and be. Sometimes I'm a little bit snarky, but in general, I think I'm nicer than this kind of person. I'll never tell you you're going to hell. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's just... I'm just going to show you the first few seconds of his featured video, which is called Are You Going to Heaven or Hell? <laughs> if you're new here, I read capital letters as shouting. <laughs> in case that wasn't clear. So I want you to close your eyes with me. Close them. Trust me. Just close them, okay? okay? Now I want you to think. If you were to die tonight, if you were to take your last breath on this earth tonight, are you 100% positive that you would go to heaven? Uh, no, I'm 100% positive that I wouldn't because I don't believe in heaven. Do you see what I mean? How cringe is that? If you were to die tonight, and then he's got his face. Can you imagine if I did that? Oh fuck, I should do that. If you were to die tonight, if you were to take your last breath on this earth today, would you feel 100% confident that you are a silly little guy? What the fuck? How creep- it's creepy, it's weird. This will surprise you, all the emojis. It's like so clickbait. I'm a, I'm a viral vlogger, guys, but I also love God. I'm fading in all of these beautiful images and close-ups of my face. So fucking weird. I hate it. So that's, that's the cringe vibe, right? And then, okay, so this is the first video that I, my eye was immediately drawn to of his. I guess we can watch pretty much the whole thing because it's only two minutes long. Luckily, not that many views on this. It's called Boy With Autism Set Free. This is, um, unfortunate. It's probably the kindest way I can describe it. So this kid literally had autism, but he went to a church service and the lady prays for this little kid with autism. And what happens to the little kid what happens, is quite Caden? interesting Caden. because you're- I keep nearly calling him Cody because his name's Caden Pody. <laughs> Man should change his name to a single name, make it Cody. That's my advice if he wants to be more successful. You're gonna see the autism literally leave his body. Don't- Yep. Yeah. This kid literally had autism and then a woman prayed it away because it's like a demon or something, I guess. <laughs> Unbel 2023 2023 this is a young man he looks my age maybe it's kind of hard to tell he's got that sort of superficial slightly ai vibe which i know i can have using certain lenses so okay but yeah he literally had his autism cured by god's love 
why does God give us autism in the first place? <laughs> why does he give us why does he give us autism and ADHD and OCD and all these other things that people have claimed time and time again are some sort of demonic presence or soul degeneration or all our other fucking evangelical cult buzzwords? Believe me, check this out. So like I said, check this little this kid out. has autism, but he goes to this church service and watch what happens when hands are laid upon him and when the power of God goes into his body. You're gonna- So this is a thing in like, uh, charismatic churches. In- in charismatic, uh, preaching. In charismatic preaching there are these- there's this belief in sort of worldly gifts, in that God will bestow upon you gifts of healing and you do this thing like laying hands on each other to pray for each other and then god will bestow this gift it's it's pretty weird because if that was possible why wouldn't god do that all the time to everyone it's just there's it brings up so many questions but it is kind of a bit more of a common thing in the u.s so that's what's happening here having somebody uh you know, maybe the maybe the parents are experiencing difficulties raising this child or whatever, so they've brought their child to church to have hands laid upon them, to have prayers said for them. They can do that if they want to. That is their right. I want to check this out. I want you to realize the power of God really is real. So without further ado, let's watch this. Um, and even certain rituals. So, do you want to now- So that's the little kid right there in the grey and white striped shirt. Just say, I okay. That's a- that's a kid. Any, uh, uh, witchcraft that is attached to me, or that I participated in through Catholic- <laughs> So, uh, we're not getting the whole context here. The implication is that this woman has practiced some kind of witchcraft, and that's why her son has autism. And I want you to watch the little boy very closely because you'll see some behaviors and certain actions that he does that makes you believe that, okay, yeah, he does have autism. And if you watch past videos, he's literally diagnosed by doctors that he has this autism. He's literally diagnosed with uh, He's so weird, guys. Like, if you watch him, you he'll do weird things like people with autism do. <laughs> oh my god. I detach you from all of that that you bring up. How awful a thing to... B I mean, it's terrible because when you are entrenched in that genuine belief, you kind of... I, I, I do feel for this woman as well, even though what she's doing to her son is horrible, rather than accepting her son for who he is and working with him and learning with, like, actual, you know respected medical professionals whatever instead of actually like doing that she's bringing her son to fucking faith healers to try and cure his autism that is a horrible way of thinking but it must also be quite horrible if we're you know trying to be generous and understanding here it must be horrible to think that like a terrible relationship you had with your mother abuse you may have suffered has caused you to impart something harmful, demonic even, upon your child. The whole, the whole thing is so fucked and I blame this kind of church and this kind of preacher and the Caden Pody kind of person who's like, wow, isn't this amazing? And I break every generational curse in Jesus' name off of you, off of your family. Off isn't it God that gives those curses? Or is it like God cursed them because her mum practiced witchcraft? Of him now. And I this kid's face, he's like, you believe this shit? <laughs> like, same, buddy. Catch him from autism and every diagnosis put upon him. And I declare on three, every spirit attached to I detach him from autism and every diagnosis placed a What if a, do a doctor diagnosed him with like... I don't know, heart palpitations, or like, having the flu, like, you know what I mean? Like, every di- that's just such a weird- it's so fucking bizarre. Which she renounced every spirit of autism and mental sickness must leave in Jesus' name. One, two, three. Okay, I leave. Demon speaking in brackets, just to make sure. 
Uh huh. I don't know what just happened. Jesus just set you free, hon. Jesus just set you free, hon. So this is the kind of bullshit that we're seeing on this channel. Not only is this ridiculous, like the kid is looking at the camera this whole time. It feels like he's been pressured to to be there. Either he has autism, autism. Either he has autism and he's been pressured to act a certain way for the camera, which he is again looking at the whole time, or he doesn't have autism and whatever. He's been pressured to act a certain way because he's a child. Either way, whatever. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Look at. I'm just gonna start calling him Cody. Look at Cody. He's like so excited. This kind of video is such hot. Like I, I do reaction content, okay? And people tell me I talk too much. I would so much rather be the one with, okay, not 5 million subscribers, but who is told talks and gives her opinion too much, rather than someone who makes videos like this, where they just take somebody else's video and go, isn't that amazing? Like that, you, you've given us nothing. You've provided us nothing. What have you done? You've put no work into this. You've put, I, I could make this video, it's two minutes, 48 seconds. I could make this video in 10 minutes, plus rendering times and whatever. Give me half an hour, I could make this video. That is so low fucking effort that it's 100% grift. It's, oh wow, this will get people's attention, which is exactly what the original video was. So we're just in this perpetual cycle of shit content. And obviously, the most heinous thing about this is we're pretending autism is something that can be cured by a woman going, I release you from your autism. You're welcome. Obviously, that's not what fucking ASD is. That's not how it works. If you have it, you have it. And that's fucking okay please i beg you middle-aged american women please stop acting like it is some heinous difficulty for you that you wish you could cure your child of so caden pody pretty garbage i would also like to share <laughs> i'd like to share with you a little bit of this other video this is actually a slightly longer video his videos are all really short which might account for the lower view count because um he does longer live streams again, and those, I presume, do fine. Um, longer videos tend to do better on YouTube now, and he's doing lots of short, like... He even does those thumbnails where it's like... <gasps> it's like, if you look at the Boy With Autism Set Free thumbnail, it's him going... Like... <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that on all my videos. We should do... Do you know what would be really funny? Put this down as a as an idea for the future right what would be amazingly funny is if we did a stereotypical clickbait youtube video and i just compiled everything that we've learned from all these places we do the shocked face the pog face and the thumbnail and we just go full out we should do that you won't believe this so the other one that i took a little look at was this mr beast and chris can't deny that what's happening is evil i don't really know anything about mr beast I have my opinions on his kind of content and uh, this kind of approach to content and charity and stuff in general. This isn't about him or that, so I'm not going to bother. But I watched like two minutes of this video and I was... I couldn't stop laughing at the cringe and also horrified at the blatant transphobia. So that's the trigger warning for this one. My trans friends, my trans homies, love you, be careful. <laughs> No way, that's Chris. Wait, did he just really say that? What did- Wait, did he just really say that? Just the- the fakery. The bullshit, right? It's this, like, American hamming it up for views. He didn't just say that. Like, that was very clearly- he already knew what he said. And he was pretending, but he's got no acting skill. And he's doing something weird to his voice. I can't believe it. What did Mr. Beast just do? Oh man, if people knew that- Look at the dramatic fucking uh, film filter he's put on it. Oh, it's so fucking cringe. That was it's like his vignette. real voice. They would understand this. Hold on, he hold on, hold on, hold on. was his real voice. They would un knew that. Did Mr. Beast? Wait for just it, wait for it, wait for it. 
Oh man, if people knew that was his real voice, they would understand this. If people knew that was his real voice, fuck off is Caden Pody's voice in these videos his real voice. There's no way. Maybe I should, like, maybe I should listen to one of his live streams. I wouldn't be surprised if after all these years or whatever he can put that voice on for a whole live stream but there is no way in real life he actually talks like this so to criticize somebody else's real voice is like really fucking funny um he did not just say that thing to something that just happened in a recent interview what's this em why is there emojis creeping up behind him Am I old? Is this not cringe? Is this cool now? Or is this channel frequented by older evangelicals who think this is a good example of what the younger generation are into? Because that's the only explanation I can like understand as to how this is popular. Mr. Beast, you know him, the man with millions of subscribers. He just crossed 100 million. He's on his way to 200 million. But guys, something just happened. And when you hear what it is, it is going to totally blow your mind. I'm not doing this just for clickbait or trying to get more views. He's not doing it for clickbait or trying to get more views. He said so. So that means it's true. So what is he doing it for? I'm telling you guys you want to stick around for this because there's a hidden agenda that the devil doesn't want you to know about But today I am exposing that agenda and only agenda I swear he said agenda a second ago, and then he went agenda If you want to know that agenda then stick with agenda. me if you don't care about that agenda If you don't want to know the truth then just scroll on and don't care about this video, but if you can- Is that like a little bit Midwestern? I, my American geography is not good. I, I'm always interested in the different accents that American YouTubers have. Watch this till the very end, because I'm exposing the devil. The devil's- I'm exposing the devil. Please watch it till the very end. Even though I spend most of the video just talking about how you should watch the rest of the video and we could have skipped a minute in and then you would have probably watched more of it. Uh, anyway, the devil's agenda is why Mr. Beast's friend is trans. Yeah, that's what- that's the video. <laughs> I've done it. I wrapped it up for you, Cody. Devil's a liar, he's a loser, and guys, this is- Devil's a loser? You're asking for trouble, mate. Skip to the end. And I want you to watch this before a lot of the mainstream media watches this. Just check this out, guys. Stick with me. This is gonna be so interesting, guys. <laughs> oh, it's so interesting. It's like the devil has this agenda, but it's so funny and cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make so much money off this. And then, no you don't, you only get uh, 49k views. That's pretty good. 49k views is pretty good. Uh, just, like, for perspective, that would be pretty good for me. At, like, whatever tiny fraction of subscribers of his I have. I'm just- I'm just about to that! I'm just saying! <laughs> what was that? What did I just say? Good luck captioning that, David! <laughs> thought it was a curse. I started taking HRT that I was like, this is- this is not a curse. It's a blessing. Chris Tyson is one of Mr. Beast's best friends and co-workers. So that's Chris- So that is so interesting and so telling. What Cody's doing here? It's gonna be so funny if anyone skipped ahead past me deciding to call him Cody and is like, who? Why does she keep getting his name wrong? <laughs> what Cody's doing is not sharing the original interview. He's sharing a reaction, an evangelical reaction to the interview. So he gets his information from biased sources. He doesn't go back to the original just in case there were any unjust edits in case there was any manipulation in the editing. He doesn't do that. He doesn't care. He wants the content for clickbait reasons. He just said he doesn't because he knows that's exactly what people will think because it's true. Got a little bit overexcited. Tyson back in the day. Mr. Beast's beloved friend who recently set the internet on fire by coming out as non-binary. A lot of Chris's fans were upset because they felt like they were losing Chris, and others were primarily upset because Chris- Thanks, what do you mean? This this guy's original video is in the link in the description. Just stick with me, guys. I promise you, you will not regret it. This must have been a live stream, because I think he's talking to the uh, audience. Chris's wife 
and they had a little baby together. I think the baby's like, what, two, three, maybe four years. I don't care to pry into uh, these personal details. Dating on your gender. Yes. You know, just you growing out your hair, yeah. you... I mean, today you, you showed up fully I did. presenting I did. as a woman. I did, because I am a woman. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me just tell you this, and this is a this is a controversial topic within the body of Christ, and a lot of people they don't want to talk about this, but I'm gonna tell you what the Bible. A lot of Americans, as far as I can tell, want nothing other than to talk about this. They can't help talking about trans people in their lives all the fucking time. They they can't get enough of it. Desperate to know what's in everybody's trousers. It's actually a really controversial topic. Controversial? Trying to say controversial in my Cody voice. It's a really controversial topic. I'm like so brave for speaking out for Jesus on this issue. Bible says about this, and I don't say this to bring- The Bible? Now this might- This might shock and surprise some of you. Especially if you're evangelicals in the USA. The Bible does not say anything about trans people. It's weird, isn't it? It's just weird. Bible doesn't say anything about America either, but apparently that's God's chosen land, so I guess they make the rules. Bring hate to anybody who's living in this lifestyle. I don't lifestyle. say this to try to tell people that I hate these people. No, I love people who are living. Hate is defined by your actions, right? Denying somebody's existence, using your religion as a cover to be bigoted, misgendering people, these are all acts of hate. When evang evangelicals have this amazing way of pretending that they're not being hateful by just saying it. A bit like earlier, how Cody just said, I know this seems like clickbait, but it's not. I know it sounds hateful, but it's not. No, it is. It's still hate. It's still clickbait. You're doing all of this for attention. A lot of people lie when they're accused of committing crimes. They still get found guilty. This hate thing is a more powerful lie because in a way I think most of them are genuinely lying to themselves and that makes it easier to compel others. A lie is a lie and this is hate. We hate sin, but we love people who are the truth of hate what- Hate the sin, love the sinner. And then I was like, I am a woman. And it was, it was hard for me to say that because I so was sad. so I scared sad. of- saying I am a woman and then instantly hearing, no, you're not. Mm -hmm. Because in my head, I fought with that every day. And the thing that was really keeping me for so long away from like who I truly am is how people re would react. I was- Like Cody. Like Cody. That's what's so sad about this kind of thing is that people are actively living in the closet, hiding from themselves, wrestling with this kind of stuff, because there are people like Cody who will sit and be like, this is sin, guys. I'm not saying that because I'm a hater. I actually love this person. I'm going to keep misgendering them. They're not who they think they are, blah, blah, blah. That sucks. It was really sad. So scared of like, I'm from a small town in a conservative a area. So listen. when I was younger, I was like, this is my, this little bubble is my entire world. How will they react? And I'm just going to share with you some thoughts from the Bible and what God thinks about this. You know, I believe... Nobody knows what God thinks better than this fucking idiot. <laughs> this guy who decided to be an evangelical internet preacher for the kids so he could go viral and get that mad cash that Mr. Beast has impacted so many people. But with this happening with Chris and, and Carl and all that stuff that happens, it's changing a lot of people. And they think, oh, I looked up to Chris and now he's changing his gen- She. She's. It's not hard. And again, if you really love the person, then it makes no difference to your life. It certainly makes no difference to your salvation what pronoun you use to refer to someone. If you weren't hateful, you would use their preferred pronouns. You just watched a whole video where she says, I am a woman because I am a woman. And you're, I don't hate wrong pronoun. But I cut like I even find it hard to say the wrong pronouns when I'm quoting this guy because it's just so fucking pathetic and lazy, the idea that it changes anything or means any- You can still fucking hate trans people and call them the correct pronouns. You can be basically polite, at least in your daily life. You know what I mean? God, people are such fucking cunts. <laughs> this guy's a cunt. 
Tinder. Now he's saying- He thinks he can win me over with his fucking Marty McFly hair. I pull off Marty McFly better than you do. You're still a cunt. Saying he's a girl and he's a guy. Now he, he's divorced, divorcing his wife and, and all these things. And of course, divorce is a big problem for uh, the evangelicals. And they say, oh, I look up to him. I look up to Mr. Beast. I might as well go down that road too. Well, I, I'm absolutely like, is this not a terrific example of how this is completely clickbait? Because yes, I skipped through a lot of that, but I, I don't see the Mr. Beast aspect here at all, except for the person they're talking about is Mr. Beast's friend. <laughs> like, oh, I used to look up to Mr. Beast and now their friend is going on a journey. Like, what are you talking about? This just because he's 100% just using Mr. Beast's title because he's really popular on YouTube. Like, 100%. This guy's such a liar. He's a grifter. He's a liar. He's a real fucking poser who puts on this voice and is like, oh my god, edit in some more emojis. I love God, by the way, so everything I do is okay. I'm allowed to grift for God because I grew up with, uh charismatic preachers and the prosperity gospel. I generated so much saliva doing that voice. That is weird. <laughs> Two, listen, your decisions don't just affect you, but your decisions ultimately affect so many other people. If you dare, I'm gonna stop at that because I'm sick of this guy's fucking face and his bullshit fake voice. Oh my God, everything's so dramatic. It's for God. It's about your soul. I just care about you. Fuck off, does he? What an absolute faker. What a cunt and a faker. I'm sorry I keep using that word, but I'm not actually sorry. Forget Satan. Cody's a fucking loser. <laughs> Cody's the loser. This, like, idea that how dare you be yourself publicly? How dare you not be in the closet? Because what you do affects other people. Young people are gonna look up to you and think it's okay to be trans. Shocked face for the thumbnail. Say a little prayer. Put your own eyes cross-fading over the screen in a blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's, um, that's Caden Pody. That's Cody. Five million subscribers. I hate him. I hate him and it turns out my my turns out I have a fully functioning cringe detector that allows me to know when someone is just a grifter and or a bigot. It's funny how those cross over so often. Basically whatever controversial opinion is popular right now is the opinion I have because of God. It's because of the Bible. And if it just happens to make me loads of money, well that's just a gift that's a reward from the lord for my hard work sickening gross really cringy really annoying really fucking weird his whole youtube is just bizarre i'm kind of glad that his videos at least aren't getting crazy views his really disgusting one about the boy with autism who may or may not have had autism we don't know the details at the very least that had less than 10k views and the comments were full of people saying i really like your stuff i love jesus and the lord please stop acting like autism is something to be cured i don't believe it is demonic i don't believe it is blah 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 so there are people out there with their heads screwed on properly that can identify this stuff, oh, if not for what it is, which is the cringy fucking grift of a lifetime, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is just the face and he's being directed by some fucking prosperity preacher church or whatever, like anything, maybe that's a bit conspiratorial of me, but I wouldn't be surprised if this guy was just the, like, almost the actor for this channel, you know? I wouldn't, be, that wouldn't surprise me, although actor is a strong word because oh my god i can't believe it you won't believe this wow did he just say that um anyway <laughs> i'm just gonna get more bitter if i keep going on so um let me know your thoughts down below had you heard of this guy before because his uh like i say his his videos don't have that many views but he's got millions of subscribers so maybe he was a known thing that has just passed me by somehow i don't know maybe his shorts are really popular because i did find him via a short so it might be that five million people have subscribed for his shorts and they don't watch his main videos i don't know it's just a red flag for me that the kind of person that says stuff like 
oh my god, here's proof of this biblical event, are also so often just bigots. <laughs> just horrible, hateful bigots. But they're allowed to pretend that they're not by just saying they're not. It's like me being like, I know I sound like I'm British, and uh, I've mentioned that I live in London and that I was born in the UK, but actually I'm not British. And then anytime somebody's like, oh, so as a British person, I'd be like, hold on, I'm not British. And they'd be like, well, you're born, you're born there and you live there and you've said that you're British in the past. And you're like, no, no, I'm not British. That's the... <laughs> That's my stupid equivalent of somebody like Cody saying they're not hateful. Because you can just lie on the internet. You can just lie and say whatever you want. Yeah, leave your thoughts down below. Do consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, because, you know, your boy's got five million subscribers, and frankly, he doesn't deserve them, and I think I deserve, like, a few of those. I think I deserve, like, like a couple of, of Cody's subscribers, please. <laughs> Do consider checking out Emma Thorne Backstage, where I open my PO Box mail, I do more sort of vlogging, lifestyle-y content. If you enjoy my videos and want to help me make more silly things, you can become a channel member right here for some silly emotes and comment priority. The best way to support this channel is via the Patreon. You get some exclusive videos and posts and streams and all kinds of things. Please check it out. I also have a gaming channel here on YouTube called Little Duck Gaming. There's wholesome content, there's spooky content. Likewise, I stream, although I have been really bad lately because I've been so busy, I'm sorry, but I do normally stream on Twitch a few times a week at Emma Little Duck, so you can come and say hi over there next time I'm live. I must give a big old thank you and a shout out to my giant chickens and colossal quackers over on Patreon. <laughs>